It's day eight of drawing everything every day, and today I'm gonna draw a Hot Wheel. But not just any old Hot Wheel. This is the 1973 Greased Gremlin. It was one of my first Hot Wheels, and I've always loved it. Okay, first of all, ignore my thumb. It got, I got ink under my fingernail somehow, and it won't come out. But um, I'm gonna start off with a very simple shape. This probably isn't how I normally would do this, but I just kind of wanted to help you guys because cars, I don't like drawing cars. I don't, they're difficult. So I'm just gonna kind of break out the shapes as simply as possible to kind of show you guys how I try to see it. So this is kind of a, a rectangle. Um, what do you call, what do you call a, a, it's not a cube, but it's not a trapezoid. It's a cuboid or something like that. Anyways but it's a little taller in the back and a little smaller in the front with another rectangle cuboid thing for the, the yellow part. Now I'm gonna find the circles, or, I'm sorry, the wheels, and um, I'm just lining them up to what my basic shape is. Now remember, with everything, with proportions, you gotta start with something. You know, when you're doing a head, you're gonna do an oval, you're gonna do the center line and another center line, and that's what you're gonna work from. From there, every, all of your proportions are gonna come from that. So here I'm just creating, I'm making a leap of faith. This is the general idea of the shape. And now from everything there, I'm gonna work from that. So right above where the tires are, that's where that first top point is. And I'm just re referencing from that. Now about two thirds of the way or three fifths of the way is the, uh, the tailpipes from the, from the rear tire to the, to the front tire. So I'm, I'm adding that that little uh, slot there. This is this is I hate doing cars because there's there's so many different angles going in so many different directions. It is so confusing, but it's really good practice to, to just try to draw them. It really is. And I'm going to mess up on this. I'm just warning you. It's not going to be perfect, but it's good practice. And that's what we're doing. We're not we're just having fun and we're just drawing to draw. And I told you we were gonna be drawing more difficult things and this is gonna be really difficult. Um, I, I, and I wanna eventually get to stuff like trees and whatnot, but right now I'm just doing indoor stuff because it's kind of cold out and I'm, and I'm, I'm fragile. But um, I, you know, the, uh, the distance, if you look at the, uh, the sunroof, the little slot for the sunroof, I, there's way more distance in my drawing from that to the uh, the spoiler in the back. Uh, there's very little space between those on the actual car. That's just how it goes. I, it's not not the P word. So we're just gonna do that and I'm gonna do my best with it. Again, no one's really gonna notice. No one's really gonna care. I'm always gonna point out the things I don't like about it. I'm always gonna point out the things that are wrong. And that's what we do as artists. We're always gonna be more critical about this stuff. Um, to our to our own selves. Also, I'm really bad at drawing uh, tires. I don't know why. I've never been good at drawing tires. They always look wrong. Uh, they look like oblong tire, uh, oblong uh, donuts or something like that. I, they should be fairly simple. It's a it's a circle that you just kind of extend. But for some reason, my tires always look horrible. Okay, now I'm doing the tailpipes. Well, I guess they are. It's exhaust pipes, not tailpipes, because I guess. If they were tailpipes, they'd go out the tail. These are just exhaust pipes. Um, and you'll notice that I am, there's one, two, three, four pipes coming out, which makes sense. It's probably an eight cylinder and there's four exhaust ports on each side. Um, I only did three. I just didn't feel like counting them out. And um, so again, it's just a drawing. But I, I'm, I'm always gonna try to show you the mistakes I make. I'm always going to try to show you um, or explain to you the feelings and the thoughts that are going through my head because I think it's important to normalize um, the insecurities that we have as human beings, as artists, and, um, and, and that what might look like a really nice piece of art to some uh, usually is I messed up on this, I messed up on that, you know, all of the things that you find wrong. And, and I think people do that to themselves too. They, you know, people might say, oh, you're looking really nice in, in, in those clothes or whatever. And you're like, oh God, I feel this and I don't look like that. And 
we're always really hard on ourselves. And, and I just want us to start to feel like, um, I want you guys to know that you're not alone, that, that um, I have these same thoughts. I'm not happy with my art, but I still draw anyhow. And we don't let the, the, the negative thoughts stop us from creating art because the world needs more art. Um, despite what our stupid brains are telling us and that we're bad and that we're not good. Just keep making art. So, so this front bumper is just the weirdest shape. It makes no sense whatsoever. And I think just at this point, I'm just like, yeah, it, it's going to be it's going to be something. You know, I tried to follow it, but it literally makes no sense. Um, it is a very weird design for a car. It really is. I was going to draw Esmeralda. But um, no, and, and look at the, the distance from the back of the tire to the bumper. It's huge compared to the photo. And I know the photo is very small. Uh, hopefully you guys are looking at this in HD with your you know, screen wide. But um, I, again, my proportions aren't close to uh, the proportions. I mean, I guess they're close, but they're not exactly. And, and at some point you just go, okay, it's okay. It's just a drawing. Like I said, we're not doing um, schematics. Uh, we're not doing diagrams uh, for, you know, building the perfect car or something like that. They don't have to be exact. All we're doing is just giving the impression. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, because the car is red, I am kind of just making a, uh, I'm adding a little bit of shading here. All right. Now we're at the part where I'm looking at values and I'm going, okay, I'm going to need to start adding some blacks. So um, there's a little bit of black here and then there's going to be the windows are going to have the blackest blacks and the tires. So that's where I'm going to focus on next. And um, of course, I'm just going to sit and noodle for a little bit because, you know, why not, Scott? Just keep noodling away. Here we go. Now we're getting into the um, cool shape for the windows. And I'm gonna squint. I always squint just to kind of see like what stands out. And so this little part stands out a little bit. And then this one little roll cage bar right there. But the rest of it is pretty much black. So I'm just gonna fill that all in. And then uh, because that's just a little bit less dark, I'm going to put some shading on those parts too. And then there's a roll cage there and a roll cage here. And then there's going to be the steering wheel. I said there's a steering wheel. Steering wheel, Scott. Come on, focus. There you go. And the column. And the rest is shaded in little bar there but again even the steering wheel is shaded and I'm not gonna have it be I don't want it to be very light because I it's 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 unimportant it's gonna just gonna stay there pencil sharpener okay we're at the part where I am bored of listening to myself talk um, so I am going to read your questions uh, the first one is from starting map who asks is there advice that goes around that makes you mad whether it's misleading or etc um, I, I don't get mad, uh, but I don't like it when people use the word cheating when it comes to art. Um, there's no such thing as cheating. Um, art is whatever you want it to be. Uh, art could be interpretive dance. Art could be um, taping a, I know I use this a lot, but it could be taping a banana to a wall. You don't have to like it. Um, I don't think I don't personally think that taping a banana to a wall is quote unquote art, but if the artist says it is and people want to pay money for it, then it's art. I, I, I guess I feel that way about most human rights, um, whether they be trans rights or um, I'm, the trans right thing is kind of still fresh in my mind because of uh, yesterday's post, but um, for Women's History Month. But, um, you know, who is it for me to tell another person what their art is? It's not. If someone creates something from nothing 
and calls it art, it's art. I, I don't have the authority to tell somebody that that's not art. Um, and I shouldn't. No one person, no body of people should be able to tell another person what their creation is or isn't. It's their creation. And if they want to call it art, then it's art. And and I, I think we should respect that universally. Um, it, it's, it's none of our business. And um, so, yeah, I think the thing that bothers me the most is when people say that um, something is cheating or that something isn't art or that... Um, you know, tracing is wrong and whatnot. I just think people need to just let other people have their things. Let them let them be happy. And we should encourage people to be happy. We should encourage people to make art. Anytime someone's making art, it doesn't matter if it's digitally or with AI or or whatever. And I know I, I don't like AI and I know that um, AI isn't really creation because you're just typing prompts and you're not actually making anything. But at some point, AI is going to be art. And um, and I think at that point, we just accept it. But um, yeah, that's the thing that bothers me. Jade 030, uh, that's J-A-E-D 030, uh, asks, if there was a video game, movie, animation, or comic book you could have worked on, what would it be? And uh, I, it was Spider-Man for me, and I got to do it. So I, I got to fulfill my childhood dream, but if you were to ask me what else I'd like to work on, um, probably be Speed Racer, um, which is kind of ironic because we're drawing a car, but um, I, I, I'd love to revamp Speed Racer. I think that would be really fun. And I'd like to do it uh, as a movie or animated series or something like that. But I mean, if I had even my own pick that was my own, it would be the Dreamland Chronicles. That's my own series. but. If it was somebody else's something, it would probably be uh, Speed Racer. ODW asked me, who is your favorite guitarist? Um, gosh. Now, now, I love Joe Satriani. Uh, I named my company after one of his songs and albums. Uh, the album was Flying in a Blue Dream. Um, I still love Eddie Van Halen. I, I would think it would either be Eddie Van Halen or Joe Satriani. Oh, pencil sharpener. Colorful Water has a pretty cool question. He, they say, in our culture, it seems like everything has to be for sale to be successful. Can you talk more about what it means to just make art for yourself? Um, I think that's uh, like my travel journal. Um, I make those for myself and they're not for sale. And... Um, and I think journaling is a great way to do that where you're not worried about selling your art and you're not worried about even other people seeing it. You're doing it for you. Um, so I, I would say that that is how I would make art just for yourself is by journaling. Yash Singh asks, is it important to go to art school to be good in art? Um, no, no, it's absolutely not good. At, uh, it's, it's not important to go to art school. Uh, no one in your professional career is ever going to ask what art school you went to. Uh, they're just going to care about your art, your portfolio. That said, a lot of how you turn out is based on how you learn. Different people learn differently. So some people learn by... Um, doing it themselves. Some people need to fart around and find out, which is my technique. I've got to make the mistakes myself. I've got to try it myself and then move from there. Um, other people learn very well from watching people and from, from uh, school. So if you're good at school, I would say go to school. It all depends on how you learn. And that's really it. Just if you learn well from instruction, go to school. If you don't, then don't. Okay, and I think this is the last question. Uh, Lil Bill 14 uh, asks uh, if I had any tips or anything on how I film my art. They would like to, but they don't know how to use or how to set up. Um, the way that I film my art 
99.9% of the time is with an older iPhone. Um, and I just have a stand that uh, I got off of Amazon and it clips to the side of my desk and that's it. I just, it, you know, you can, you can adjust it. I just move it where I need to and I record in 4K uh, on my iPhone so that way I can edit at HD, which is 2K. So basically I'm, I'm recording at twice the resolution so that way I could zoom in when I need to. Uh, this is especially helpful for when I do the, vi the vertical ones. But um, that, that's it. And then I do all of my editing in Adobe Premiere. And I, I really like that. I like the ability to uh, edit on a computer, on a laptop, or on a desktop. And, and that's how I record and edit my videos. All right, I think I am mainly done with this. I'm just doing some last minute uh, white outlining, which I like to do. And also I got a new um, pen that I am trying out. Um, and it's okay. It's kind of like a Posca marker. Oh, oh sorry, that was Mr. Clock. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So. I thought I would kind of use it, just play around. Uh, I used it a little bit on yesterday's uh, Women's Day uh, painting. And um, I'd love if it was a brush tip and I'm kind of pushing down sometimes on it to see if I can get it to go a little thicker. But other than that, it's okay. Um, so yeah, so this is it. We are pretty much done with this. I hope you liked drawing the greased gremlin Hot Wheel. Um, again, you see how imperfect it is. If you compare the photo to my drawing, you'll see all of the inconsistencies. Of course, I say that just as the picture goes away. Um, but yeah, um, it's it's just, like I always say, it's just an impression. That's all we're doing. So I hope you had a good time. I know this is one's really difficult. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? This is just for fun. It's just for practice. So have fun with it. Enjoy and... Show me yours when you're done.